Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Wise, and this is the continuation video of cost of capital. In the previous video, we have seen cost of debt. Okay, in this video, we are going to see cost of preference shares. It has two different types. First one, cost of irredeemable preference shares, and the second one, cost of redeemable preference shares. We are going to see one by one. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now we are going to see the first one that is cost of irredeemable preferences. Before we see the numerical problem, let us see the basic concept briefly. That is cost of irredeemable preference share capital. See, in India, preference shares should be redeemed within 20 years of issuance. And as per the Companies Act 2013, companies do not have any right to issue irredeemable preference shares okay, in India. But only for the calculation purpose, uh, I have taken this. That is cost of irredeemable preference share capital. Okay. And this is the simple formula to find out the cost of preference shares. So, K refers to cost. P refers to preference shares. That is irredeemable preference shares. The formula is D divided by NP. D refers to annual dividend. NP refers to net amount realized from the issue of preference shares. Okay. So, now let us see how to calculate uh, uh, NP in three different situations. The first one is uh, when preference shares are issued at par. This is the formula to find out the net proceeds. That is uh, face value of preference shares minus issue expenses. If there is any flotation or issue expenses that has to be subtracted from the face value in order to find out the net proceeds. Okay. The second case is when preference shares are issued at a premium. In that case, the premium amount need to be added along with the face value and then subtract the issue expense. So, this is the formula to find out net proceeds in case the preference shares issued at premium. Okay. And the third one is when preference shares are issued at a discount. In that case, just subtract the discount from the face value and again subtract the issue expenses. So, this is the formula to find out net proceeds if the preference shares are issued at a discount. Okay. So, these are the three different scenario to find out the net proceeds. But dividend is remained same. Whether the preference shares issued at par or at discount or at premium, whatever may be the case, the dividend is going to be remained same. The reason is, the dividend will be calculated based on the face value, okay, not on the issue price. Dividend always calculated based on the face value of the preference shares, okay. Now, let's see the numerical problem for better understanding. See the problem. Wisdom Limited issues 1000, 11 percentage preference shares of rupees 100 each. The issue expenses were rupees 2 per share. Calculate the cost of preference share capital. If the shares are issued at par, at a premium of 10 percentage, at a discount of 5 percentage. Okay. Here they have given three different scenario. And with this, they are asking us to find out cost of preference share capital. Okay. Now, let us see the solution. See the solution. First, we are going to find out the cost of preference shares if shares are issued at par. Okay. So, this is the formula to find out the cost of preference shares. That is dividend divided by net proceeds into 100. Okay. So, dividend is going to be remained same for all the three different cases. Okay. The first one is how to calculate dividend. See, how many number of shares? 1000 preference shares. Each share price is 100 rupees. Okay. And what is the dividend rate? 11 percentage preference shares. No. So, dividend will be calculated based on this percentage. Okay. 1000 number of preference shares into 100 rupees each. So, how much? 1 lakh. Okay, into 11 percentage. 11,000. So, this is dividend per annum. This is constant for all the three different cases. Okay, and the next one is we need to calculate NP. So, NP means net proceeds. So, how to calculate net proceeds? When the shares issued at par, this is the formula. That is face value minus issue expenses. So, how much face value? 1000 into 100 rupees each. No. So, 1 lakh face value minus 
issue expenses here they have given 2 rupees per share suppose if it is uh, issue expenses in percentage means we need to apply the percentage on face value or issue price whichever is higher will be taken into consideration okay but in this problem they have given 2 rupees per share issue expenses were 2 rupees per share so simply you can multiply with number of preference shares so 1000 into 2 that is the issue expense for all the three different cases right 1000 into 2 2000 so 1 lakh minus 2000 98000 so this is net proceeds now you can substitute the value in the formula to find out cost of preference shares when the shares issued at par 11,000 dividend divided by net proceeds 98,000 into 100. Answer is 11.22 percentage. So, this is cost of preference shares. Now, let us see the second one. That is, uh, if the shares are issued at a premium of 10 percentage. Okay. See the calculation. When the shares issued at a premium of 10 percentage. Same formula. Dividend divided by net proceeds into 100. So, dividend how much? 11,000 and net proceeds. We need to calculate net proceeds when the shares are issued at a premium of 10 percentage. Okay. NP is equal to face value plus premium minus issue expenses. So, how much face value? 1000 into 100 rupees each. No. So, 1 lakh. So, how much premium? Premium 10 percentage. Okay. So, 10 percentage on face value plus 10,000 minus issue expenses. So, same thing that is uh, see the problem. They have given 2 rupees per share. How many number of shares? 1000. No, 1000 into 2. Same thing only. So, 2000. What is the answer? 1 lakh 8000. Now, just apply the formula. Dividend how much? 11,000 divided by NP 1,8,000 into 100. You will be getting 10.19 percentage. Okay. In the same way, we are going to calculate when the shares are issued at a discount of 5 percentage. Okay. See the third case. Uh, shares issued at a discount of 5 percentage. Same formula. Dividend divided by NP into 100. Dividend how much? 11,000. Now we need to calculate net proceeds. So what is the formula for net proceeds? NP is equal to face value minus discount. So in the previous calculation we have added no premium. For discount we have to subtract. And minus issue expenses. So how much face value? 1 lakh. Minus discount. So, how much? 5 percentage. So, 5 percentage on 1 lakh, 5,000. So, minus 5,000. Minus issue expense remains same. 2 rupees per share. No, 1,000 shares. 1,000 into 2, 2,000. Answer, 93,000. Now, we can substitute. Okay, dividend how much? 11,000. Divided by net proceeds 93,000 into 100. You will be getting 11.83 percentage. Okay. So, this is the way to calculate cost of irredeemable preference shares. Okay. In the next video, we are going to see calculation of cost of redeemable preference shares. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like. Comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.